Hello and welcome to the CPS Inspires Update. I'm Craig Burnback. And as this teacher appreciation week continues, we wanted to share with you this story about Frontier Middle School's Andrew Lovin. The culinary arts teacher earned the Educator of the Year Award from the Evergreen School District Foundation this year. But now, when his students can't be in his physical classroom, he's making sure that they still see him and hear him so he can teach them how to cook. Hey guys, Mr. Robin. Today um, I'm going to show you guys how to make pasta carbonara. It's something that um, my parents used to make when I was uh, growing up when we lived overseas. Welcome to Love It in the Kitchen. No, it's not the latest show on the Food Network. This is Andrew Lovin's Frontier Middle School Culinary Arts class. The thing with garlic, guys, is you don't want to overcook garlic. You want it to be golden brown. If you overcook garlic, it becomes very bitter. When the coronavirus pandemic caused the physical closure of our schools, Lovin wasn't sure how he could teach kids to cook remotely. If you ask my wife at the beginning, I was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to teach cooking, which is hands-on without students? But Lovin was determined to find a way. So he hooked up with school security officer Aaron Gowan to deliver some cooking video magic. What do you think? It looks delicious. Yeah. I just wanted a way to connect with them and them to see me. What's it been like to see yourself on these videos? I needed to work on my posture. <laughs> I've got this bald spot that I'm in denial about, and as far as, as long as I'm seeing myself straight on, I don't see it. Now these lessons are optional. Lovin knows that not everyone has the resources at home to make this happen, but he wants to give kids something to help them learn and create. This week I gave them three recipes. Um, with the demos and the recipes. I'm giving them two weeks to do this. They're completely optional. But the biggest thing um, that I'm hearing is the kids just, they want something to keep them engaged. And so that's what I'm, I'm looking to do right now with them not being in the classroom, but giving them things that, that are fun. Yesterday I was doing this and I, I lost my touch. So let's see. Oh. Mm. Uh. It's not just the kids that are learning and having fun. Lovin has recruited his wife to help out with the camera work. So, a motion like this. My wife just tried to mumble to me, I don't think you should teach him that. Guess what you do in the classroom, so. For Lovin, food and family go hand in hand. You know, they're not just students, they're actually, you know, like they're, they're your school children. You know, you're, you're, while they're at school, they're, they're, they're your children, so. It's tough. These kids are dealing with something that we haven't seen in our lifetime. So they're having this, that would be an opportunity to sit there and eat and just talk. Lovin is excited to keep making videos because this experiment, well, it's working. They're, they're doing what we would do in the classroom, maybe not as, as in depth, but they're getting the chance to do something and create stuff and eat and, you know, enjoy it. So I think that's the best and the, and the biggest takeaway from this is we're, we're, we're succeeding. 